on. Today we're gonna be doing a little bit of one wheel engineering. Today we wanna learn how much our one wheel regenerates energy when we're going downhill. So basically what we wanna know is how much energy we can recover when we're going downhill. Plan ahead, how far do I need to go? Will I make it, you know, back down? How efficient is this machine to recover energy? from what it's carrying and how it's moving back to the battery. So we're gonna go to this place in which we can run an experiment. We're gonna go downhill several times and then we're gonna go back up without using the one wheel battery. And then we're gonna check, you know, how much energy are we getting back from each downhill. I'm gonna fall if I keep doing this. So, see you then. I'm gonna go down all down, down all this ramp. I'm gonna stop here and then I'm gonna start walking back up so that we don't waste battery going back to the stairs. And let's see what happens. Another thing I forgot to mention that I'm gonna try to maintain a constant speed. Yeah, constant speed and downwards elevation. I just thought about what is the difference between doing the same downhill slope carving versus just going on a straight line because I've been going on a straight line and maybe that's not the most efficient way to take advantage of this slope because when you carve technically the distance is bigger so we might get more region. I'm gonna do 10 more after this carving when available. I guess we'll see the difference. Through this here and this here. So our starting voltage, I'll fill this up later, but right now this was 77% and 10 laps later, 60.3, nice, Sick. speed was about this average and uh, I'm gonna add it here, 82%, 82%, so that's 
a 5% increase. Now this is straight and now we're gonna car and this is not gonna be fancy as take because I'm already tired. Oh 5% 10 laps of this and I'm gone. What a workout, Jesus. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the carving thing. I'm not gonna tape this because I'm really tired So let's see we already got 5% back. That's that's very promising very promising. Yes uh, So bye bye. Yeah, whatever It's always nice when people recognize what you're riding, but it's actually really fun to when people don't They just have no idea what the f they're carrying Nine more to go. See ya. the last one and I'm done for today oh my god uh, look a full light bar isn't that awesome oh. Okay, editing Gabriel here, we're gonna do some math, I'm gonna leave all the data here so you can screenshot it and correct it if needed. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna use potential energy. We basically use this to calculate the end velocity of things, we need mass, gravity and height, and that's how much energy available we're gonna have, you know, to calculate. So basically, out of this energy, how much does the one will take to recharge the battery? What's the percentage or the ratio that it uses, you know? So basically what we need is this number, 8,340 joules. Now this number, um, I got it by multiplying the weight. I measured my weight with the one wheel and everything I was carrying that day, and I was 85 kilograms. Now the height of the bridge was approximately 10 meters and gravity we're going to use 9.81 meters per second squared so we get 8300 yes uh joules and the final number is 166,000 because i went up that staircase 20 times so our increasing battery was nine percent which equals 13.14 watt hours and according to google that's about 47,000 joules the efficiency is going to be 47,000 between the available energy that we had and the final number that we get is 28.35% of regen. Now, what does this mean? Out of all the available energy, our one will get 30%, almost 30% of that energy goes back to the battery. Now, that's insane. To give you perspective, if you started out on a 2000 meter hill at a 5% grade like the bridge, it would take you 40 kilometers to recharge your battery at that constant, you know, grade percentage. That is insane. If you start out with 10% of your battery, you would end up at the bottom with 100%. But this was really, really hard. Like you have to go up for 
48 steps each time but i don't know if, it, if the trade-off is worth it i mean if you're somewhat close to home and you see a setup like this it might be worth it for you to recharge your battery because you don't have any outlets nearby but i actually managed to recharge 10 percent nine percent of the battery manually and i think that's huge nine percent of the pines battery is not that much energy i mean still some i i i've ridden a lot of like about a mile with nine percent i mean if you're one mile away from home it might be worth the trade-off you know it's it was actually quite a good workout my legs hurt but i don't know you, you you'll choose i guess so yeah i mean hopefully this speaks to you about the pines regenerative ability this is only this one wheel maybe the xr has a better regen ratio maybe the gt has a better regen ratio or the pine x where they're all the same you would have to test that i'm recording just to let you know that i'm not back yet and i've already used up whatever we recharged so it wasn't enough to get back home i probably would have to done it like five to six more times but it's actually quite close 200 meters close i don't know if you handle meters but that's what i'd handle so, so that's it i hope you liked this video i'm gonna say i enjoyed doing it but i really didn't because it was really tiring now you have the number now we have the number and now we can do some math depending on where we're going and if we have an emergency we just need some twice and slope or something and we can recharge Hold on friends, see ya.